everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at Dungeon of the Endless. Uh, this is a game by Amplitude Studios, and it is on Steam Early Access right now. I believe it is $13 to purchase. I will have the uh, links, of course, as always, in the description so you can check that out, but I'm pretty sure it's $13 to buy it now. And uh, one of the neat things about this game is at the bottom there you can see games together and that is kind of the Amplitude Studios program for people to uh, participate in deciding how the game is shaped. So they actually let you look at their design documents and uh, kind of submit ideas and help shape what the game is going to be through, uh, through the early access process as it heads toward release. So that is definitely cool and I will put a link to that as well. But I am uh, I'm just going to jump in here. I will say to start off this game is tough. I've played about half an hour and I don't think I've even beaten the first level yet. It's very very difficult. All right, so we start here with our uh, with our spaceship here. And it's not looking so good. We are uh, almost entirely dead. And uh, now we will be starting the the game here. All right. So the way this works is we've got our two uh, crew here, right? And then we can lead them into uh, other rooms and in the other rooms we find items or we can find enemies you know there, I mean there's a lot of stuff that we can find and the goal here is to find the exit and then take our crystal and uh, take it to the exit and I have not managed to do that even once yet like I said it's it's very difficult <clears throat> and so here's here's some enemies Hopefully I can take them out without dying. So at first glance, it may seem like there's kind of like a lot of control to the game, but there really isn't. What uh, and, and that's not like a bad thing. Um, but like what I I don't move really. I I choose the room I go into, and then the character just moves into the room on its own. It's not really like us moving together. And so you can see I'm, uh, when, when my character gets too low in health, what I'm doing is I'm pressing, pressing the H key to heal, which uses food, unfortunately. So we do have a limited supply of food, of course. Okay, so that is another thing we can find is industry. Alright, head over here, and yep, our crystal's being attacked. So that's the other thing, is enemies will actually attack your crystal. And, oh no, we lost a person in combat. That is not good, but that does happen, especially to me. Yeah, I may be done for here. Yep, there is nothing I can do there. Well, like I said, it is really, really tough. But, we, uh, we'll just keep trying here. And I'm just going to skip that cutscene for subsequent playthroughs. Uh, so if I didn't mention, it is it is a roguelike, so we have actually different characters now, and we can go up here and we can read about our characters, so here we have uh, Nurse Ratchet, and I haven't really been able to level up anyone yet, just because, <coughs> uh, excuse me, just because it's costly, and I always end up spending my uh, stuff to heal. So, that is that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the game so far, though. Okay, maybe, well, maybe what I'll do then is I'll just go ahead and level up. Just take that opportunity. Run away. Oh, interesting. So now I can move faster. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's that's kind of the overview of, of the gameplay here. 
it's you know it's not too complicated and that's that's kind of nice it's pretty easy to pick up it's just really hard to play right now and I'm sure balancing is is something that's going to be worked on um, you know like hipster scarf cool um, sure did I put that on yes I did okay oh interesting so it pulls aggro um, you know that I mean that that's part of the early access process is you know stuff's going to change nice Okay, this is, like, by far the best I've done. Which, I mean, isn't saying much because I haven't really done anything. It would be pretty nice if I could, like, beat the uh, first level, though. Nice. Didn't have to spend any food there. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, I accidentally healed. I was looking at the wrong health bar. I don't even know if I needed to do that or not. Holy cow. And these guys are, are messing me up. Oh, come on. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it. Oh, she is out. That is not good. Okay, well. See, the problem is any time that you lose a crew member, like, because we only start with two... Um, losing one can be really bad just because it takes time to move about the level so like getting back to the crystal if it gets attacked is uh, not gonna be the easiest thing to do okay let's see So, I mean, what I can do here is I can spend uh, spend our, our science points to analyze stuff, and I can make basically like some machinery kind of things that will help me out in various ways. I don't know that I've actually gotten anything made yet in my previous plays, but... Uh, this is definitely a game that I'm going to be putting more time into. Unfortunately, uh, for right now, it's it's a little tough. I'm like I said, I I assume probably in in a coming update it'll be made a little easier. Yeah, there's like nothing I can do here. I mean, I can run away, but it's not gonna do anything. Darn. Well, I mean, I'll try another time or two, but I'm I'm imagining I'm not going to really get much farther than, than what you're seeing. I mean, sorry I'm so bad at this, but at the same time, I, I don't know that it's totally my fault. Okay. So I think I want to take this guy first. And like I, right now I honestly don't know if it's better to split people up or to keep them together. I mean, maybe this run I'll try and keep them together. But typically, what happened before when I was doing that in my playthroughs um, is that my crystal would just get attacked, and obviously that's no good. Um, so I mean, yeah, I guess I guess at this point I'll kind of stop talking about the gameplay because I think we've we've probably covered that pretty well here. Um, Sound-wise, I'm really enjoying the uh, the background tracks here. It kind of reminds me some of like the Super Metroid soundtrack, which, if you've seen some of my videos before, I've definitely talked about how the Super Metroid soundtrack is one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. So that is huge praise. And then, uh, as far as like the art goes, it's uh. It's probably one of the one of the prettiest uses of pixel art that I've ever seen. All right, let's see. Is my crystal okay though? I think my crystal might be okay. I need 
need to heal. Oh, I probably could have gotten by without healing. Okay, let's see what item we got here. Prison soap, huh? Let's see. Defense plus 2, HP max 90. With the look and texture of volcanic stone, this doubles your personal hygiene and self-defense. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll use it. <laughs> you. Okay, so that, that's the other thing, is you can actually find other people. And if you've got enough... You know, I mean, it, it's really like a give-and-take system on the food, because you need the food to heal, and you need the food to level up. But you can also use the food to... Um, to recruit people. Like I said, like, that's... And that's obviously something you're going to want to do, because two crew members, from what I've found so far, is not necessarily enough. Oh. No. Alright. Go for it, dude. Alright. Come on, stay alive, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this is definitely, like, the best that I've done so far. Uh, this will probably be the last run. It'll be kind of a short look at, but I think you guys kind of get the gist of, of what's going on here. Um, one thing I will say is, even though it's really tough and I've been having a hard time really getting anything done, I still really, really like it, and I definitely think that it's, it's still worth um, picking up. Oh, no. Oh... That's not good. Yep, this may look like the, uh... This kind of looks like it's going to be the end for us. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, my crystal is almost dead anyways. So you can see my crystal health bar at the top, and it is just about gone. As am I. Oh, come on. Nope, I'm out of food. Darn. Yep, I'm not going to make it. Oh, that was really close. Oh, man. Well, alright, I am going to uh, wrap up there. Uh, like I said, even though it's it's really tough right now, I'm still having a really good time with it. Besides the fact that the game is beautiful, it sounds great. Uh, I definitely think this is one that's going to be worth picking up now. Especially because you can uh, help shape kind of what what's going to change. I think I'm probably going to... Uh, I'm probably going to go on the Games Together website and maybe suggest a couple things. I think the biggest thing right now is maybe difficulty tweaking, but that's, you know, that happens with every game during testing. I think, um, especially if you're looking for a roguelike with uh, maybe less combat and more of a strategy kind of tinge to it, because, like, the combat, you don't really do the combat in this. You just, uh, it, you know, it's more like tactical, like where are you going to put your your group members. So especially if you're looking for that kind of experience uh, in a game with beautiful graphics, in my opinion, I'm, you know, I'm a huge fan of pixel art, so I think it looks really great. And uh, really, really good music, really good atmosphere, then uh, this is definitely a game for you. So with that, I am going to uh, wrap this up. I, I am highly enjoying my time with this game, and I think you will too. So. As I said, I will put links in the description for you to check this stuff out. As always, feel free to comment if there's anything that you'd like to comment on. Uh, subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos every day. And if you like my video on Dungeon of the Endless, uh, please consider clicking the like button because that could help me out a lot. And I appreciate everything that you do to help. So with all of that being said, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.